everyone, Ara Zeta here again with another recipe from our cookbook, Lavash. This is one of the most surprising recipes to me when we were touring Armenia. You can find this pretty much only in the north and it's called Banerkash. This is a dish that only like your grandma would make for you or you would make at home. You don't necessarily get it at a restaurant. It uses a few simple ingredients, lavash, cheese, butter, and onions. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it's done. So the first thing you do is you gotta cut up the lavash. We got store-bought lavash here because we have the luxury of being out here in LA. But all you gotta do is you gotta cut it into strips. A couple bits and bites so you don't really need to have any rhyme or reason behind it. It's kind of like macaroni. This is kind of uh, Armenian mac and cheese. So you're just kind of cutting it up into little chunks. There'll be these little squares, dicing it. You don't have to be perfect. Awesome. So we're just gonna grab a bowl, set these aside so we can build it up. And then we're gonna start cutting up our cheese. I have Armenian string cheese here that I'm gonna shred up. Uh, if you have Parmesan cheese or if you have mozzarella cheese, you can kind of use any cheese you want. Whatever you have, some kind of white cheese. You just wanna kind of shred it up, get it into little bits so it melts. All right, we'll just chop this up so we're nice and shredded. And then now we're gonna use half an onion and then we're just gonna saute that up with some butter. There we go, sweet. Let's move on over to our pan. So we'll throw in some butter, melt it down. Toss in our onions. And you want these to just kind of cook down till they start to brown just a little bit. You're not caramelizing them, you're just kind of getting them a little bit crispy on the ends. You gotta love the smell of butter and onions. You can see here they're just starting to turn a little bit of brown on the ends and just about ready to pull off. All right, so now we're just gonna build it out. Well, you take a little bit of lavash, a little sprinkle of cheese, a little sprinkle of lavash, a little sprinkle of cheese. You just keep going. Lavash, cheese, lavash. And then top it off with your onion mixture. Pour that in there. So here's a quick little tip I like to do. I like to actually add my water into this pan that's hot already. And what you gotta do is you gotta get your uh, water boiling and then that's the water that you pour into there and then the water melts with the cheese and creates a nice sauce in the oven straight after that. So let's get this thing lit up. So now you just pour this boiling water kind of over the top till it's almost full and this water is gonna get the cheese to melt. It's gonna turn it into a nice cheese sauce. It's gonna be amazing. Finally, we top it off with one piece of lavash. We just put a little bit of melted butter over the top. This is gonna get our lavash on the top nice and crispy. Then we pop it in the oven at 450 for about 10 minutes. There you have it. Banerkash, a full meal in under 20 minutes. It's so good, it's so good. You just top it off with a uh, ice cold Alexandra pole. Makes you feel like you're back in Gumri. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. Yanats. Yeah,